would it be a genre? Would it be an age? Right to choice. Don't copy yourself. Too easy. A lot of what happens to the brilliant young star poets that we were talking about is that they don't hire the management. No, it's this. People like what they do. When people like what you do, do you do something else? And they don't like it. So they do what they like. And they, you do what they like until they get bored. And if you've lost the capacity to do what you like, I mean, really. Then you've lost it, yeah. That, that train is gone, honey. It leaves quick, too. Yeah. So yeah, I honey. say, there's a guy, unfortunately, this guy. Is, I, to this day, I think of Bridgewater, but he, he, he was an artist, a printing guy, got out in a mental disability in the Navy and ended up in art school and ended up eating everybody's leftover lunches because he couldn't handle you know, lunch. And, and so, anyway, he was the most brilliant guy I ever met as an artist in the beat days. And probably the greatest quick, quick sketch person I've ever seen. I mean, not so much likeness as in sense of person. Very good. His name is Jim Wooden. But anyway, I bring this buddy of mine over to the place. I mean, he said, this is this guy you won't believe how great he is. I mean, I can't believe him myself. I mean, I'm serious. Every day I go in this place, it's uh, Walton's restaurant. You know, at the coffee con. And then you go and just look at this guy's book. See what else he's done. Fantastic, but again, uh, just, you know, it comes, you know, it just comes and comes. So anyway, I drag my buddy over to him. Hey, hi, Jim, how you doing? Hey, who's got another book? Uh, of course, so many drawings, you buy another book, you said. So that's how you doing. I was having another look. You know, could see a couple of your things. Totally different. I mean, style different. Now, not bad, not as to me in perfect sense of responsive self, not as penetrating and get into me as much. Great still for general sense of form and you know, maintenance of technique, control, fine, but different. And I'm thinking of the emotional connectedness of me to buddy saying you got to see this out of sense of his response in the same way I would. So I'm feeling already maybe he's going to be disappointed, quotes, mm -hmm. or not as buzzed. And so thinking of explanations, meanwhile, what does Jim Woodman say? As I have just finished my complaint, oh, this look different, and the way I say different makes him feel it immediately. It's judgmental. And he says, never copy yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Right on. Got me like a butterfly pin to a board. Perfect. Yeah. You never forgot that. So you never thought to yourself that. Yeah. In the sense of that I'm always conscious, and if I do something, it's because of choice, not habituation. Yeah. That's the, it goes back to the philosophic, theologic, moral, anything you want. Um, always try and be there with yourself and attending what you do. So I look down at this thing and I say, oh, no, this is Man, you know, I carry it to absurd extremes. Shall I look down at my shoes? I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, but I'm saying, where does any consequence to an action is certainly not in, in, in applying to the rituals you have to you wake up. You go in there, you go in there, you tie the left shoe, the right shoe, you know, there's all these things. You don't want to put mess over this, right? Those aren't choices. So we them. allow certain, yeah. yeah, all this stuff, you know, right? Tie this one. Okay, thank you. I'm not hyper, I mean, it's fun, nice. I like some of those. But there are a whole bunch of, I mean, even when you want to buy the morning paper. Now, you might, but me, you actually might buy a paper. I do. Because I like to you know, bring Very the blog on the brain. Well, I look at, <laughs> but anyway, so, but I look at what's laid there. I honestly respond 
to the cup of photo, the cup of, cup of weed, and I'm looking. I'm saying, if I'm going to spend a quarter on oh, this case, it's just nice. I responded to something. That's what I want to do every time I can. <laughs> so that uh, I'm not a globe buyer, and I'm not a Democrat, and I'm not a liberal. I'm not, I'm not from you ever, you understand, every day, because, well, you did 17 out of 27 times, you did this, and then, oh my God, three uh, out of 27 times, you did the exact opposite. That's, you understand, and that doesn't mean the machine doesn't work correctly. Click, 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 pop, on, 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 on. And you're supposed to do 10,000 with only one miss. Yeah. Okay, then that's within the degree that they will accept. Humans not the same. Although some in those instances we were talking about earlier. It's almost as though the Greeks, the unexamined life is not worth living. There's a judgmental sense. Then we have uh, Rousseau's, you know, I mean, there are examples of and life statements that the natural life or the unexamined life is the closest to quotes God or the Creator. And that the great sin of cancer society, I mean, of the general uh, ecosystem of Earth, is that man's uh, quest question going beyond natural order um, to extraordinary degrees. Whether that's good or bad. The questioning in and of itself is Did you give a question, you might as well question. Gustav Mao never resolves totally in a full and complete way because Every one thing explodes into others, and it shapes down one aspect of that, and it blows into others. And you recognize this absolutely That's why I live. an impossible. <laughs> <laughs> and with that as a truth, and not saying the truth, but in the experience of ex experience, yeah, yeah, experience, it's truth or not, I can't even tell. It's just the way it is. Experientially, that is truth because that's how I've lived my life. Sounds like an explanation of truth. No, but yeah, when you get back to it. Well, I think of Brooklyn all the time, and Henry Moss culture, because there's a solidity where this is landscape, and all of a sudden you come down like this and say, "This pregnant form, suggestive really of anything, is what we are here for, and what all of this around it is for." Pulls you like. This is the stark innocence of the germ of the idea. And there is a germ here, which can, I mean, the explosion, implosion. But he's the perfect implosion. He brings everything down like this. I'm talking anthropology, as opposed to this stuff, Mount. And absolutely, that's a truth. And the contest between those two concepts, which essentially would provide a rudder, if not the actual energy, both to propel the uh, issue. And So, maybe energy comes from the fact, of course, it's so obvious. It's the dynamic. And the dynamic being composed of opposites has kinetic energy. What's kinetic energy? It goes where it wants to, when it wants to. Oh. It's coming, and you watch. It's coming. Kinetic energy. It's not, not anywhere yet. No, it's 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 a coil. Possibilities is. And all things will be revealed. <laughs>